Hey guys, we will be making a reply to all the lies that are being spread by Leon Lush. We are honestly so disgusted by this and hope you can all see the truth in our next video. Now I'm going to give these guys the benefit of the doubt and allow them to shed some light on all of us heathens living in the dark surrounded by our lives. That's why we're giving away two iPhone X's. All you got to do to enter this giveaway is subscribe to Dr. Bergman because we want you guys not only to enter a giveaway that you could win an awesome iPhone, but you will also <laughs> learn the truth about how <laughs> he knows every single answer to the sickness. He knows a cure to cancer. He knows a cure to liver disease. He knows a cure to kidney disease. He knows a cure to everything. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new glass of red wine. My name is Leon Lush and uh, I do appreciate you joining me here for a few minutes. If you're not familiar with any of the backstory that led up to this video you're watching right now, I implore you, click on this link up here, get yourself up to speed. Uh, I promise I'll just kick on some third eye blind and I'll wait for you to get back. She lives for me, says she lives for you, Oh, I'm motivation. She comes she comes back. Now, when I first read that comment they pinned underneath their original video um, that they were going to make a response to all these lies, I was overwhelmed with like two emotions. The first was jubilation because I knew that, you know, before even seeing the video, it was going to be a piping hot, steaming pile of horseshit that I'd be able to sink my teeth into. And then I felt a little sadness because I knew that no matter what they did, no matter how hard they tried to defend themselves and blame it on. Jesus Christ, I, whatever they do, that it, they were just going to look foolish. They're, they're just going to look foolish. So they start off immediately by showing us some of these videos that have been made about this situation the past week, including mine, and for some reason, blurred my last name, and I gotta be honest with you, I'm, I'm kind of flattered. So we're faking our deaths, guys. Yeah, we know, that's kind of how this whole thing came about. That's what everyone's been telling us. Because that's what you did. We're not just going to be proving to you that we are sick, and that we are literally dying. But we're going to be proving to you guys that Dr. Bergman is the best doctor in the world. Before we prove anything, before we literally prove anything. <laughs> what? Anyone, what we want to say first of all is we forgive every single one of you guys that has created a hate video on us. Because that's what Jesus Christ would do. He would forgive you. He would forgive you no matter what you've done to him if you go to him for forgiveness. Alright, so this forgiveness thing is kind of cute. And I'm not going to knock on your faith because that's not my style, but... I gotta be honest with you, I wasn't losing a whole ton of sleep wondering whether or not you had forgiven me for calling you out, for convincing people that you were dying, only to turn it around and do some bullshit giveaway for your own personal gain by manipulating people into clicking subscribe and hitting the notification bell. And I don't, did you even, you, has anyone gotten a fucking iPhone? Has anyone gotten an iPhone? Somebody tell me if they've gotten a fucking iPhone yet. And for the people that have posted videos about them having a sick loved one or they're sick themselves and they that it's so hard to go through we know what that's like we truly do now they're just rubbing our noses in it they're like oh well we got all those videos from you guys that um are actually going through sickness and disease or have lost loved ones to sickness and disease but we're gonna prove to you how that we're we're sick too we're gonna prove it to you and by the way that should at least help justify why we've been running giveaways on our We're Dying videos these past couple of months. We're gonna prove it to you. But we're gonna show you guys a way out to healing any sickness and any problem that is wrong with your body. But the proof is in the pudding, so we're gonna prove it to you guys in this video. Alright, that's a pretty bold fucking claim. Let's listen to that again. A way out to healing any sickness and any problem. I swear to God. If I watch the rest of this video and you try and convince me that I can go to a chiropractor to heal any problem and any disease and anything that's wrong with my body, I'm going to have an aneurysm and die on camera. But we've got to start off by showing you guys first that we are actually sick because a lot of you guys don't believe us. So. See, that's where you're wrong. It's not that we didn't believe you were sick. It's just that you way overplayed your hand and tried to convince people that you were actually dying, like somebody with a terminal disease that had a prognosis of having four weeks to live like you tried to convince your audience just a few short weeks ago. Guys, the doctor just told us. <laughs> that Johnny's got four weeks to live. Only to turn it around into some bullshit giveaway that you disguise as you guys trying to give back to your subscribers that you love so much. When in reality, you're the only ones that stand to gain anything from that transaction from subscribers and notifications. And you know what? I believe that you're sick, but what I don't believe for a fucking second is that anybody is getting a goddamn iPhone. 
So if you take a look at exhibit A here on my side, the next two and a half minutes of this video is uh, just a clip they included from a two-year-old video uh, proving that he's sick because he's pointing at a bunch of pills. Uh, and it's like, listen, we get it, bro. Like, you're struggling with some kidney issues. You've had to take a bunch of pills. I sympathize with that. I'm sorry that you're going through it. It sucks. It looks like it sucks but it's totally outside the scope of why you're being criticized in the first place. So I've actually got to take my tablets right now. I'm just going to quickly take them so you guys can see how I take them. So these are two of the tablets that I take. He's even nice enough to show us how he takes the medicine. <sighs> Compelling. So that's the first bit of evidence, guys. Just showing you guys that we made a video about this subject two years ago. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but I love how he calls it evidence. Did you guys see the old YouTube video from two years ago with all the pills? Did you see the evidence? Like, this has been going on for years, guys. There's there's no hiding it. We've actually showed you guys. You get it, bro. Your brother's got some health issues, but I think I speak for a lot of people when I say, you're missing the fucking point. So they spend the next several minutes showing us more evidence. Basically, there's just fluid throughout my whole body. About his edema symptoms, and it's like, like we get it, we never said you didn't have edema, we never said you weren't struggling with kidney issues. But uh, this is when it starts to get good, when they start bringing Dr. Bergman into it, it just, now it, it just takes a turn. But like I said, Dr. Bergman, he is a legend, he's awesome, he is honestly a legend because he's fixing the spot in my kidney region that doesn't like fire off properly, that's not letting the signal from my brain to the kidneys work. What kind of bro science bullshit are we on right now? Oh my God. Any sickness, and any problem. Yeah, you know, I haven't read a medical dictionary in a while, but I'm not sure that that's how terminal kidney disease works. Uh, now, if that wasn't enough for you guys, we've got even another clip to show you guys that yes, we are really sick. So they show some more symptoms of his edema and you know, it looks legit, but all the while in the back of my head, I'm thinking, what about El Guapo on the left over here? What is this whole, he told us he was dying of vertigo in the last video, can we get to the, fucking bottom of this one the kidney disease i get but like the whole come on let's see what he has to say okay now a lot of you guys have been talking about me and saying that i have nothing wrong with me <laughs> on the contrary my friend i think you have a lot wrong with you i just don't think you're dying subscribe for all the iphones every single doctor that i've been to medical doctor that i've been to has told me it's in my head there's nothing wrong with me and i thought i was going insane i was getting depression anxiety all these sorts stress just overload yeah you know those medical, medical doctors doctor. that go to four years of undergraduate school followed up by four years of medical school followed up by five to seven years of a fucking residency before they even get their license yeah they tell me there's nothing wrong with me and then i'm not dying but i'm dying i'm dying subscribe and cop this iphone now i know that a lot of you guys would be saying that you can't die from this but you can how many people have died from depression how many people have died from anxiety and stress it just pushes you to a point when everyone's telling you that you're not telling the truth it pushes you to a point in your mental state where you can just suicide you can do anything and honestly i'm not the kind of person that would suicide because i have jesus christ in my life i would never suicide no matter what pain i'm ever going through suicide is never the option but i'm just saying that that is the point where it was getting to and my mental state was not stable at all okay so now you're not dying of vertigo you were struggling with a mental state that was leading you to have suicidal thoughts or do suicide, but you would never do suicide because you have Jesus Christ in your life. And now I just, I cannot fucking keep up anymore, boys. What the fuck is it? Are you dying or not? Or were you just depressed for a minute and thinking about, but you would never suicide. I, I just fucking, someone, somebody throw me a bone here. Can you leave a comment? Somebody down below, tell me what the fuck's going on. I am out of, I am out of answers. Any Thank the Lord. Thank God for Dr. Bergman. Because without Dr. Bergman, Tommy would be literally just about dead right now. Seriously? What the me medical doctors couldn't find with Tommy was the fact that his neck was literally crooked. It was crooked. He had a crooked neck. <laughs> Okay, can we run that back one time, please? Literally crooked. It was crooked neck. Crooked. He had a crooked neck. Literally crooked. Crooked neck. Crooked neck. <laughs> well, looks like I'm finally about to eat that humble pie because turns out Tommy is dying of a crooked neck. 
But not only that, he had arthritis in his back, arthritis in his neck. <gasps> arthritis? You mean the same thing that hundreds of thousands of people around the world live with every single day without dying? Oh! Three discs aren't functioning in my lower back? Three whole discs aren't functioning? Bet Dr. Bergman can fix that. I have a gut that is leaking. Literal holes in your gut that when you eat something, toxins just spew into your bloodstream. Causing your blood to be absolutely toxic and ultimately lowering the pH, starting diseases like cancer, Kidney diseases, liver diseases, all those sorts of things would have started happening to my body. So when you say, was he really dying? I really was dying. I was about to develop cancer. I was about to develop liver diseases and all sorts of things like that. So as you process the last few sentences that you just heard out of Tommy's mouth, uh, I want to just watch it again real quickly together and just really let it marinate in process what he's actually saying right now. I really was dying. I was about to develop cancer. I was about to develop liver diseases and all sorts of things like that. <laughs> oh my God. Listen, I've, I've kind of tried to hold back in this video because I genuinely do feel bad for these guys. Not only because I think the bro on the right is going through, you know, some kidney shit and he's struggling. I get that. But Tommy on the left here just delivered, delivered the killing blow. Can you hear yourself talking? Did you watch this back when you were editing the video and think to yourself, this is going to show him? <laughs> what the fuck are you saying? You had a leaky gut, so when you eat food, toxins spill into your bloodstream and cause cancer, liver disease, and all other types of diseases. And if you hadn't gotten adjusted by a chiropractor, you would have gotten cancer and liver disease and all of the other diseases? What? Because he knows every single answer to the sickness. He knows a cure to cancer. He knows a cure to liver disease. He knows a cure to kidney disease. He knows a cure to everything. I'm sorry, what? You guys are acting like he's just a chiropractor, but trust me, he is much more than a chiropractor. He is a genius. So I'm at the point now where I'm really grappling with the idea that, you know, initially I thought that these guys were, you know, probably had some sicknesses they were dealing with, but were intentionally manipulating the situation in order to help themselves uh, while kind of trivializing or mocking people actually dealing with terminal illness. But I'm almost at the point after watching this where I think that they're so ignorant and uneducated. He knows a cure to everything. Maybe they really think that they're dying. I don't like, they just, the shit I've seen them say in this video. He knows a cure to everything. Uh, is, is remarkable. And I don't really, it's, it's, it's kind of blowing my mind a little bit, to be honest with That's you. That's why we're giving away two iPhone Xs. All you got to do to enter this giveaway is subscribe to Dr. Bergman, because we want you guys not only to enter a giveaway, that you could win an awesome iPhone, but you will also learn the truth about health. Yeah, I can't even act surprised about iPhone giveaways on these types of videos anymore from these guys. They, they obviously do another giveaway at the end of this video. For what it's worth, even though I think doing a legit giveaway on a video like this or a we're dying video is a scumbag move, I just think these are bullshit. I don't think they're doing a giveaway at all, and I'll tell you why. On the 50 plus minute video they uploaded a week ago where they said he only had four weeks to live and then did an end Sheeran cover and then went and met Dr. Bergman, they did a giveaway, obviously, and they said this. If you do those three things, you will be entered into this huge giveaway. We also want you guys to know that the doctor that we're going to right now, we found him from YouTube. If you subscribe to his channel, you're gonna double your chances at winning this giveaway. So if I subscribe to your channel and turn on notifications, I enter the giveaway, but if I subscribe to Dr. Bergman too, I double my chances of winning the giveaway. How the fuck do you quantify that? Are you keeping tabs on everybody that subscribes and turns on your notifs and also subscribes to Dr. Bergman? Do you have a system? Are you going through all the people that subscribe and then matching this person subscribe and then seeing this subscribe? There's no fucking way you're going through all these people, giving everyone a fair shot that actually believes that they have a chance of getting an iPhone. Who's that? <sighs> Trust me, he is much more than a chiropractor. He is a genius. All right, that's clearly where we went wrong in the last video is we were kind of joshing on these guys for trying to convince us that they went to a chiropractor to get healed from terminal illness, but they didn't tell us, they didn't disclose that Dr. Bergman is a genius. Maybe you should have said that up front and we might have believed you. <laughs> now we want to do a quick just message for all you guys out there that have ever copped hate because this is something that we copped a lot of in the past few weeks and it's honestly something that people can take quite seriously and we don't want to make this a joke at all. Well, that's a shame because you already made it a joke when you did your third iPhone giveaway in as many serious videos. Don't hate on people because that can seriously turn someone's life completely upside down 
and spiral them into something severely bad. Now, I hope it goes without saying I'm not promoting hate. On the contrary, I'm trying to promote integrity and some sort of accountability on the internet because YouTubers have been running around for years completely unchecked, making hundreds of thousands of dollars. And that's fine. Most of them aren't really causing any harm. You know, you want to do some 3 a.m. pranks or Ouija boards or 24-hour challenges or exploit your girlfriend or do some cheating pranks on your spouse. That's your thing. I don't care, honestly. I think it's fucking stupid. But once you start mixing together this, like, this I'm dying clickbait and, like, this disease and then you, you mix it with a fucking giveaway that's really only made for your own personal gain, it starts to, I start to get a little... I start, my, the hairs on the back of my neck start to stand up a little bit. Don't ever hate on anyone. Doesn't matter what the situation is. Doesn't matter if you think they're faking their death like you thought we were, even though now we've shown you the truth. Well, I guess that's it, guys. They've shown us the truth, and it looks like they weren't blowing something way out of proportion in order to help save their dying YouTube channel. In fact, you know what's funny? Looking at their social blade statistics, uh, after hearing this... He knows the cure to everything. Might I suggest you take your YouTube channel to Dr. Bergman as well to see if you can stop that from dying. Now we've proven to you guys the truth in this video. If you still don't believe us, for some crazy reason, if you still do not believe us... How could we not believe you when you say things like this? But we're gonna show you guys a way out to healing any sickness and any problem. He knows a cure to everything that is wrong with your body. He knows a cure to cancer, but the proof is in the pudding, so we're gonna prove it to you guys in this video. He knows a cure to liver disease. He knows a cure to kidney disease. He, he knows, knows a cure to everything. Dr. Bergman is starting to show some crazy improvement on our bodies. We're going to him three times a day, every single day. I'm sorry, you're going to Dr. Bergman 21 times a week? <laughs> I don't even, I have no, I don't know what to say to that. I really don't. Turn on notifications, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. We hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I mean, if there is a next time, right? This whole thing is predicated on the fact that you might not make it till your next upload. So, so we'll leave it up for you guys to decide what these young Gentlemen. are all about and whether or not they provided you enough evidence uh, to justify their actions. I just hope that moving forward, maybe they'll be able to learn from this experience uh, somehow and do a little better in the future. Uh, but, but judging by the tone of the video I just watched, they might already be too far gone. So, uh, no uh, elaborate outro today. Thank you guys for watching. I know this was maybe a little bit longer, um, but I do appreciate your time as always. Uh, don't forget to, to hip thrust that motherfucking like button and subscribe to Dr. Bergman to guarantee yourself a new iPhone X, um, XS, XV. I don't know what the new iPhone's called, but you'll definitely get one if you subscribe to Dr. Bergman too, because he can cure everything. So, see you in the next video. Bye.